Hi all, my name is Eko Piesik and on today's movie I will show you something related to the Microsoft Partner Center. On today's movie I will show you granular administration on the Microsoft Partner Center. We will use that for importing the device for the another customer tenant to have a possibility to work with the FCI on the Microsoft Surface devices. So let's start. On the first step, you need to log on to the Microsoft Partner Center with account which have a proper permissions. Go to the admin, administrator list, create a request admin relationship. I will select now a duration, for example, 36, 365 days, one year, admin relationship, relationship name, for example, MSMVP Lab. Top, it will be my admin relationship name and select Azure Active Directory roles because you need this is the granular administration that is not giving the fully administration on the customer tenant. I want to give only the I want to take only for example I don't know Intune administrator. So let's see. Intune administrator it will be enough. I'm clicking on the finalize request button. Okay, request was created. Now I can send that email or just copy and paste that link. I'm clicking it, opening. I'm opening that link on the Microsoft 365. Your partner, something, something, duration and the roles, Intune administrator. Okay, I'm agree that my partner will have uh, some permissions on my tenant. Clicking approve, yes, approved. And after some time, this request will be approved. As you can see, granular delegated administrative privileges are active for my partner ITC and SPL. Okay, now I will go to the Again, to the Microsoft Partner Center, Granular Ex Administrator, I'm selecting my tenant, test tenant. Go to Devices. And apply profile to devices. I'm clicking Add Devices. Select a, enter a name for this batch of devices, add a new group name, surface devices. Okay, now I need to provide a hash file for the device. And click save. During preparation of that movie, I realized that I didn't show you the CSV file which you need to import to the Microsoft Partner Center because if you try to import the simple CSV file which you can generate using the PowerShell module, it will be not working because for the Partner Center you need to have added two additional information, manufacturer name and device model. In my case, it's empty rows. You see, it's empty information, but without those two additional information, the CS file will be incorrect and you will be not able to import it to the Microsoft Partner Center. So please remember about this. And after some time, the devices was imported properly, Surface device, device one. I can go back to the Microsoft Intune portal, Windows, Windows Enrollment, Devices, click the Sync button. After some time, the device will appear on the Windows Auto Pilot devices with the group tag which you provided earlier on the, on the Microsoft Partner Center as the group name of the devices. So if you are using the group tags for deploying the devices, you can change it right now. I will change it to the PRD from the surfaces devices that I will know that this device will get a proper deployment profile. And 
for today's movie, it will be everything because I showed you how to create a relationship and how to import the device from the Microsoft Partner Center to the another customer tenant. So thank you for watching and see you on the next movie.